Hello, we are Parsub. Today, we will be going over how to scrape data from a website onto an Excel spreadsheet. So let's get right into it. The data on a website might sometimes be presented in an inconvenient way. You might want to extract the information on a website as an Excel spreadsheet. This way, you can actually use the data and realize its full value. In any case, web scraping tools could be incredibly helpful at helping you turn a website into a simple spreadsheet. For our example today, we will pull business contact information from Yelp onto an Excel spreadsheet. To achieve to achieve our goal for this project, we will use Parsub, a free and powerful web scraper that can easily complete this task. So before we get started, make sure to download and install Parsub for free from parsub.com. For this example, we will extract the contact information of every fast food restaurant in Toronto from Yelp. Let's assume we own an imaginary company that sells napkins, paper plates, plastic utensils, straws, and other consumable restaurant items. As a result, having an Excel spreadsheet with the contact information of every fast food restaurant in town would be incredibly valuable and a great way to build a leads database. Now that we have Parsehub loaded up and the URL for the Yelp search results page for fast food, we can start scraping. In Parsehub, click on New Project and enter the URL to scrape. Once submitted, the URL will load inside of Parsub and you will be able to start selecting the information you want to extract. Let's start by selecting the business name of the first result on the page. Do this by clicking on it. It will then turn green to indicate that it has been selected. You'll notice that all the business names on the page will turn yellow. Click on the next one to select all of them. You will now notice that Parsub is set to extract the business name for every result on the page, plus the URL it is linking to. All business names will now be green. On the left sidebar, click on the select you've just created and rename it to business. Then click on the plus sign next to the selection and choose relative select. This will allow us to extract more data such as the address and phone number for each business. Using relative select, click on the first business name and then on the phone number next to it. Rename this relative select to phone. Using relative select again, do the same for the business address. Rename this relative select to address. We'll do the same for the business category. This method will only capture the first page of results. We will now tell Parsehub to scrape the next five pages. Click on the plus sign next to select page, click on the select command, and select the next link at the bottom of the page. Rename this selection to pagination. Parsehub will automatically pull the URL for this link into the spreadsheet. In this case, we will remove these URLs since we do not need them. Click on the icon next to the selection name and delete the two extract commands. Now, click on the plus sign next to your pagination selection and add a click command. A window will pop up asking you if this is a next page link. Click on yes and enter the number of times you'd like this cycle to repeat. For this example, we will do it five times. Now that you are all set up, it's time to actually scrape the data and extract it. Click on the green get data button on the left sidebar. Here, you can either test your project, schedule it, or run it right away. In this case, we will run it right away. Although we recommend to always test your scrapes before running them. Once you click on run, Parsub will go off to scrape all the data you've selected. You can either wait on this screen or leave Parsub. You will be notified once your scrape is completed by email. In this case, our scrape was completed in under two minutes. Once your data is ready to download, click on the CSV Excel button. Now you can save and rename your file. And that's all there is to it. You can now use the power of web scraping to collect info from any website, just like we did in this example. Will you use it to generate more business leads? Maybe you can scrape competitive or pricing info. Or maybe you can use it to power up your next fantasy football bracket by exporting sports data. If you have any questions about this project, leave a comment below or contact us at hello at parsub.com. As always, check us out at parsub.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet.